cancel your subscription to 11 Labs. Save yourself money with this incredible free AI text to speech generator. No subscriptions, no restrictions, just powerful studio quality voices that sound like the pros. And the best part is, it's easier than you think. Hello, engineers, and welcome back to the channel. You now you might want to narrate a video, an audiobook, or create an interesting podcast. And I know that not everyone has a beautiful voice like me. <laughs> well, I mean, it is a rather beautiful angelic voice, and it would be a stretch for anyone to compete. So here's a solution. AI voices. Don't get me wrong. Eleven Labs is fantastic, but there's a catch. Their starter plan begins at $5 a month. Which isn't too bad, I hear you say. But if you're looking to do more advanced projects like audiobooks, you'll quickly find yourself meeting their $99 per month plan. Pretty high, right? That's where F5TTS comes in. With F5TTS, you can create voice clips that are just as good, or without any ongoing subscription feeds. Plus, you don't need a supercomputer to run it just a PC with around 8 gigabytes of VRAM. Today I'm going to talk you through and walk you through the entire process, from setting it up, to generating your first AI voice, to creating full AI podcasts. So, let's get started. First things first, what exactly is F5TTS? Well, it's a text-to-speech model that uses something called zero-shot generation. What does that mean? Simply put, you can generate a matching voice from a audio clip using just a small sample of about five seconds. No need for hours of training or recording, just a few seconds of someone's voice and you're ready to go. Let's have a look at the examples here on the project page. Some call me nature. Others call me mother nature. Now, why don't we have a listen to what F5 TTS can produce based on their sample. I don't really care what you call me. I've been a silent spectator, watching species evolve, empires rise and fall. But always remember, I am mighty and enduring. Pretty impressive, right? Currently, the model only actually allows you to do English or Chinese. However, you can control the speed of it. And the other feature that's pretty impressive about this is that you can even control the emotions of your audio generation as well. And here are some examples of that. Kids are talking by the door. So I was at the um, grocery store and uh, I saw this like really yummy looking. Uh... Pretty decent for a free audio generation tool, right? I think that's enough examples for now. I think right now you're probably itching to get this installed. So let's get this installed on your PC. I've included a link to the GitHub page for F5 TTS in the description, as well as some instructions. But I'm going to talk and walk you through each step right here. It's a very simple process. And once you're done, you're going to have a very powerful AI voice generation tool right in your fingertips. First, you're going to need to install Git if you haven't done so already. Instructions and links are in the description below. But what you do is head over to gitcm.com forward slash downloads and pick the version for your system, whether that's Windows, Mac, or Linux. Once you've downloaded it, you need to run the installer and keep clicking the next button until basically it's done. And that might take a good couple of minutes. However, once you've done that, you then need to clone the F5 repository from GitHub. That's the file structure for this application. So what we're going to do is first choose a location to install this. I'm going to be using my AI folder. And in this folder, I'm going to open a command prompt by typing CMD into the navigation blur. Now, we want to switch back to the F5 TTS Git page we need to copy this line here, which has git clone on it. Then we paste that into the command window and press enter. This will now download all the necessary file structure to your computer. Now that we've got that installed, you'll see the file structure here. What we need to do is we need to use Miniconda to manage the environment. If you already have Anaconda or Miniconda installed, you can skip this. Otherwise, 
you need to go to anaconda.com forward slash download and download Miniconda. Again, we're going to go through the installation process, and once it's done, we need to then add it to our system's path. To do that, we need to search for edit the environment variables in the Windows Start menu. Then we're going to click environment variables at the bottom of this panel, choose path, then click edit. In this next window, we will click new. And what we have to do is paste in the path to the Anaconda installation script folder. So if you don't know what that is, yours will probably be inside the program data folder. Then look for Anaconda free and highlight the scripts folder. Then in the tools up here, click copy path in the toolbar. And then just paste that into the path and press OK. Now that's ready to go. So the next step will be to create a virtual environment with Miniconda. So we go back to the F5 TTS folder, open a command prompt, and we're going to type conda create dash n phys python equals 3.10. This sets up a virtual environment named F5 with the Python 3.10 installed. Now that's the most compatible version of Python for AI tools at the moment, and it will take a while to do it. And when prompted, you'll see it asks you yes or no. You're going to proceed with a Y to say yes. Now you need to activate the environment, so you need to type in the command prompt conda activate F5 and press enter. Now you possibly could get an error here, um, if you do, then instead type conda init, I-N-I-T, then type conda activate F5 afterwards. You'll know you've done it because F5 will show in brackets in the command line. Now it's time to install dependencies. If we follow the instructions on the GitHub page, this will start by downloading Torch and Torch Audio. You'll see it's marked here, a couple of simple commands pip install torch, pip install torch audio. All we're going to do is we're going to copy each of these lines one at a time, paste them into the command prompt, press enter, and let them run. Once we've got both of those installed, and it might take a few minutes, we're then ready to install the last of the requirements. So we'll copy the line that says pip install our requirements.txt. We're going to paste that into the command line and that will install the last of the requirements for this application. And it'll take probably a good few minutes as it has to download quite a few things. Now we get to actually launch the application. Finally, we can get it ready. And to do that, we need to go to the command prompt inside of our folder for F5 TTS. And you need to type the prompt Python Gradio underscore app dot py to start it. And then we're going to open the localhost URL that shows at the bottom of this command window. Now, there is an optional step that you can take that avoids you having to basically open the command prompt every time, type in the new conda, and then also type in the underscore app pi, whatever it is you need to do to get it started. And we can do that by creating our very own bat file to automate the launch of this application. So to do that, it's pretty simple. In the F5 TTS folder, we're going to create a new text file. In the description of this video, you'll find that there is the code for this. It's marked up as bat file code. All you'll need to do is paste that into the text document and make a couple of changes to the details. The set conda root should be pointing to the installation location of Anaconda. Where it says for call, you need to replace your underscore env underscore name with F5. For seed, enter the path of your F5 TTS folder. So in this example, it would be C colon backslash AI backslash F5 TTS. Save it and then rename it to F5 TTS dot bat. Finally, you have a bat file, and all you have to do is double click and it will launch the application for you automatically. So now it's loaded, it's up, it's running. We've got everything going. Let's have a look at what F5 TTS can do. So the first tab you'll come to is text to speech. 
First, we can explore that basic text-to-speech function. What we do is in the top here, upload a quick sample of your own voice or any voice you might want to mimic. For example, I recorded myself saying, this insane new AI lets you create amazing music for YouTube and TikTok videos in literally seconds. Listen, geek, where are my anime waifus? Now, in this box, we type a new line of text for us to say, and F5TTS what generates speech that matches my voice. Will AI replace us all, or am I being paranoid? It's pretty accurate, isn't it? Now, there's a couple of other things you can do. In the Advanced tab, you can also adjust the speed, and to help it out with the zero shot generation, you can actually enter the transcribed text here of your sample audio. Now, this works very well, and it can take quite a few minutes to generate if you have a lot of text, but it is actually provided producing quite a good likeness to that voice sample. And uh, let's just put another voice sample in here of a kind of funny voice that I've got and see what that sounds like. Never forget what you are. The rest of the world will not. Wear it like armor, and it can never be used to hurt you. If you think this has a happy ending, you haven't been paying attention. So, she finally comes to work. Don't tell me good morning, what morning? It's two o'clock in the afternoon. Not that we had a customer. All right, next up, let's create a podcast. So this is another great feature. What you can do is you can actually add multiple speakers. So here you'll be able to upload reference audio for both people in the podcast. In a world on the brink of chaos, one hero will rise. The Galapagos Archipelago, a living laboratory of evolution, lies 600 miles off Ecuador's coast. We'll add those in, and then we need to provide a script. And in that script, what we need to do is we need to prompt it in a certain way, okay? So, F5TTS will handle voice switching, and it will create a smooth conversation. Our script, though, will need to be written in this particular format. We want to write the speaker's name followed by a colon, and then the line they will say. We just then hit generate and it's gonna put this all together for us. Now, this is a bit slower of a process because what actually happens here is that the voice is generated in sequence. It will jump back and forward between the different voices, so it can be very slow to generate, but here's the result, and I think you'll find it's pretty decent. Welcome to AI News, where we explore the weird and wonderful side of technology. Thanks, good sir. Today, we're diving into the future of AI voice generation. You know what? That sounds like a great podcast subject. So great, really. We've got this AI podcast studio right here on your PC. The last mode available on this app is multi-star mode or expressive speech. This is one of my favorite features. With multi-star mode, you can create voices that express different emotions like happy, sad, or angry. And here's how you set it up. First, you need to upload your reference audio for each motion. Record or select audio clips that represent each emotion you want to generate and name them. For example, happy, sad, angry, calm. Then we're gonna upload those to F5 TTS and label them accordingly. The first voice defaults at regular, and that should be the standard speaking voice. If you scroll down, you'll see that you can add more voices here. So we're gonna add another one. This one, we're gonna name it sad voice, and we're going to import the sad voice sample. And we'll do that for each of our emotions. Then what? once you've done that, what you want to do is you want to format your script with the emotion tags. So when writing the script, specify the emotion before the line in parentheses. For example, 
open bracket, happy, closed bracket. This ensures the generated voice matches the intended emotional tone because it will reference that sample as it's creating the line. And you can have the emotion change mid-sentence if you want as well. So with that set up, we can create characters that sound more natural and dynamic, adding a bit of depth to our projects. Perfect if you want to do an audiobook or a play. If we hit generate, we can have a quick listen to how that actually sounds. I know, I know. I sound like I'm blowing this out of proportion. I get it. But I can't get it out of my head. I used to think the internet was amazing, but now it's just so sad. Every time I click on a new page, it just makes me so angry that I have to shout. I'm scared of what the future holds now. Is AI going to take over? Pretty amazing. So, the last thing I want to touch on with this video is a couple of troubleshooting and optimization tips. So let's address some of the common issues. If your output doesn't sound quite right, try these quick fixes. First one, important one, adjust your reference audio. You need to ensure your sample is clear and concise. A five second clip is usually enough, but make sure there's no background noise. And if you input a, and if you input a voice clip that is longer than 15 seconds, it will actually auto clip it. You can trim it yourself using the scissors icon to control this better. Make sure you trim it to a quiet point between words. I found that if you clip it mid sound, it will actually add that sound to the end of every sentence and you'll get a weird ah uh, sound throughout the generation. The next tip is to tweak punctuation and spelling. Sometimes punctuation can throw off the rhythm, remove unnecessary exclamation points or hyphens. Then the last one for you is accents and language issues. F5 TTS has been trained mostly on American English and Chinese, so it might struggle with other accents and other localized words. If that's the case, try different phrasing as well. You'll find that another thing just to bear in mind, and there just almost forgot it, is if you want it to spell out letters, write the word in capital letters. If you don't want it to write, spell it out, definitely write it in lowercase. Otherwise, you'll end up with it saying uh, free instead of saying uh, free, F-R-E-E, -E, and you did it in capitals, it'd go F-R-E-E -E and read it out like that. So you want to just be very careful with that as well. I would definitely suggest you put in smaller chunks of audio and then kind of build up your book or your audio play or whatever it is you're doing by you in with some generations. That way you can control and fix things if they don't quite work. So that you have a powerful, cost-effective way, and by then I mean free <laughs> way, to create high-quality AI voices using F5 TTS. Sure, it might not be as lightning fast as a cloud service like 11 Naps, but it's free, it's secure, and it runs locally, which means you're not dependent on a subscription. So if you're creating audiobooks, podcasts, or just want to add voiceovers to your projects, this tool opens up a world of possibilities without breaking the bank. And if you want to know just how good it can sound, I'm going to let this AI voice do the outro for me. Thanks for sticking around. If you found this video helpful, hit the subscribe button, leave a like, and drop a comment if you have any questions. I'll see you in the next video, Prompt Engineers.